Hey, this is Junior from Junior Designs and I am back at it again with another project. This project is a lot different from all the others. I'm actually revamping my studio space for the year of 2023. I'm letting go all of the clutter, all of the trash, all the things that really didn't matter and I am creating more space for me and efficiencies and bigger projects and whatever comes my way. I always wanted a mural in my studio and I get to do this now and I wanna show you how I do all of it because I really feel like this is a really good learning lesson for me, for you if you ever wanted to revamp your studio space and just to show you that you can really do a lot with small spaces. If you're an artist, you definitely know what I'm talking about. If you're not an artist, you're gonna learn today. A lot of questions that non-artists ask artists is, how do you come up with the ideas that you're gonna implement on your design? We don't even know. We struggle with that all the time, while well, I do at least. And that's a struggle just because we just don't know where these ideas come from. Sometimes your creative juices aren't flowing the way you want them to and you get stuck and then you start to doubt yourself. What I'm doing now is I got a sketchbook out and I'm going to start creating a value sketch to see what I want to start implementing in this mural. I want to do something good. I want to show you guys my talent. I want to show you guys something that's going to be very creative and something that's very original if there is anything that's original yeah this is my process So as I was designing, I was trying to figure out how I was going to take that design and put it onto this wall. One thing that I was thinking was, what if I take a doodle grid and take my transparent image and put it on top of that and basically draw out the doodle grid? But I didn't want to do that much work. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my projector and project the image on. But the problem that I faced was that the projector only goes so far in my studio because it's so small that you get a small image. And of course, I wanted a lot bigger than it was. So then I had an idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually project from outside of this window all the way onto this wall right here. And why I'm gonna do that is because I get a little more space and you can actually make it a lot bigger and the same exact size that I want to. So let me show you how I do that process. That's it. I think this is it. We're gonna start drawing now. If you step into my shoes, maybe then, maybe then, no, then you know. If you see it through my eyes, maybe then, maybe then, you then you go.
Day two, I did a lot yesterday. I was so tired. Every time I start a mural, I don't know what it is, but like the first day is always the hardest. And I think it's because you have to get into that momentum or into that routine of getting it. Like my shoulder right now, it's so sore and so tight from me constantly having my hand up. But it is what it is. You gotta get it done. And um, yeah. So it is official, I'm completely done with this project. I have the studio that I've always ever wanted. I have the mural that I've always wanted. And I just am so happy. I'm just so happy that I'm just, mm. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and share and comment below. Tell me what you think about the design. Tell me what you think about my entire studio space. We'd we'll love to hear your thoughts.